I don't know if you're keeping up with all of the stuff that's going on in the world in regards to artificial intelligence, but it's something that I enjoy. I kind of keep my eyes on. And as I watch this, things getting crazier and crazier in this regard, it really has um, got me to think about the direction this is all going, of course. Now, you may not realize just how accessible artificial intelligence is. You know, you can go online, you can find places that will basically allow you to, in a real small way, um, interact with artificial intelligence in different ways. And, you know, it's getting more and more uh, simpler. So, for example, you know, I go on to this, this one that everybody's using, chatbot or whatever they call it, chat, GBT or whatever. And, you know, I just said, hey, I want an in inspirational paragraph. And it gives me this. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside of you that is greater than any obstacle. Oh, that's so beautiful. But it's a lie. Um, because all that it does is it scans all that is exposed to on the internet and kind of pulls it all together. And I'm going somewhere with this. So follow along, please. So I, I changed instead of inspirational paragraph, I thought, let's make this interesting, right? Why not? Inspirational paragraph. This is what I asked for. I want an inspirational paragraph using toxic mold as an analogy. Okay. It says this, toxic mold can spread unseen, silently causing harm to those who come in contact with it. Much like the negative thoughts and emotions that can consume our minds, toxic mold can take hold and cause harm if not addressed. But just as toxic mold can be remediated with the right tools and knowledge, we too have the ability to address and overcome the negative thoughts and emotions that can hold us back. With determination and the right resources, we can claim our minds and bodies and create a healthier, happier life. Wow. Probably some of you said, wow, that's great. I want to read that. I, I like that. But again, this is filled with the same worldly information that actually leads a lot of people to emptiness. And the reason I say that is because there's nothing here that actually brings somebody to the source of life, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Lord said, um, the truth is what makes you free. And if the truth, you know, if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed, right? All of these things are not mentioned here. And this is the thing that's really probably my biggest concern is where is this going? Because honestly, even right now, as we sit in our world, artificial intelligence is influencing all kinds of things. And even access, you say, well, that's kind of interesting. Um, so I heard recently this very same tool that I use, they use to pass the bar exam and to pass basically whatever that is that lawyers pass to become a lawyer. And they've said, Microsoft has said, they're planning on actually incorporating this very tool into Microsoft Word. It's, it's like... Part of me is saying, what? What's, what's happening here? Because it's touching everything. My concern is this. The reason I mentioned those Bible verses is because of this. I think our society, the way that we think, the way that it, not all of us, but a lot of us are being influenced by this artificial intelligence we're actually becoming more and more responsive to um, the way that artificial intelligence communicates with us. And I think even uh, particularly you hear stuff like this and people react to it because they have no, not, it's not even 
a, a moral backbone. It's that they have no solid foundation that their life is built on that's based on the truth. That truth, it defines, you know, every philosophy that you would experience. It defines the news that you interact with. It defines even how you um, process information like this. Oh, this sounds great, but there's even mixed in with this deception because this is really just taken from everything that's out there. It's just squished together, right? And this is going to get worse and worse. This is basically, um, you know, it's going to become more and more intelligent. And it's going to become more and more uh, sophisticated. But the foundation of this is the internet. It's not the truth. And people are going to use this. People are using it now more and more. This is just one tool. There's things out there that, that the public doesn't have access to. There's things that our companies are using and developing. All of this is happening. And all of this points us to this one thing. It's now more than ever, it is it's super important that we know God's word, that we're grounded in the truth. I've been talking about this nonstop. I've been saying, people, this is important, okay? And I, I don't think, if, if I did a video, and, and like this is how it is, if I did a video that says, you need to know God's word, nobody would watch it because that's uninteresting to people, okay? When I do a video on, you know, uh, the mental manipulation of artificial intelligence, people tune into that. It's interesting, but it's the same the same thing that protects us from a person lying to us, from us lying to ourselves. the same thing protects us from artificial intelligence lying to us and manipulating us. Or the, the devil himself, it's all the same thing. It's God's word. And we need to know God's word. We need to know. If you want to be, um, if you want to find peace and safety, and you want to say, like, I want to be, you know, mentally stable. I want to be established in my thought life and in my prayer life. All of these things happen through God's word. So I hope that gives you something to think about today. I hope that you take a few minutes to consider your relationship with God's word. Obviously, with the Lord, that's, that's the important thing right? That you're a believer, that you're walking in truth, that you've asked Jesus to come into your life and to be your Lord and Savior and to forgive you of your sins. There's that. That's, that's step one. But if you're a believer, what is your relationship with God's word? Okay. How, how is God's word shaping your life and influencing you versus all of the nonsense and the garbage in the world that's being packaged every which way that you can imagine that's being, um, even regurgitated to us by computers now. So I hope that gives you something to think about. Please take a minute and leave me a comment if um, if this spoke to you, if it was interesting to you or whatever. Also, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. May the Lord richly bless you.